you um, very, very much, Coon, for, for that and for, for chairing such a, a fascinating panel discussion. I'll keep my comments um, brief on, be, on behalf of the project, but first of all, I'd just like to say um, a very big thank you to everyone who's taken part in the conference from our speakers, panellists, and those who've chaired the sessions, um, and also to um, the, the company that we've worked with, Fitwise, who've provided some excellent technical support behind the scenes. So thank you all for, for a fascinating set of, of talks and discussion, and also for making the whole day run really smoothly. In terms of reflections on, on the, 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 the themes that we've, we've covered today, I think, um, you know, um, Professor John Sweeney, you know, um, set the scene really with some, some stark messages about what we're facing, the challenges that we're facing in relation to climate change, and particularly the issues around the, um, the, the, the more conservative estimates of sea level rise and actually the, the recent evidence suggesting that sea level rise is, is, is um, happening faster um, than, than, um, than the, IC, the, the um, most recently published IPCC report. So we do have some real challenges, not just ahead of us, but now. And the, the global perspective that we've been able to bring um, today and, and set, you know, what we're trying to do in, in Cherish as, as part of an Ireland Wales collaboration, but, but actually seeing how it fits together within this global framework of, of investigating climate change and heritage is, you know, the, the, the various examples that we've seen from, from Australia, Africa, Scandinavia, um, North America, as well as in, in um, more, more locally within, within our project areas. I think has really highlighted the importance of cross-disciplinary working and cross-nation working. And the th a theme that's, that's come through multiple times is the need for a consistent approach and, and that keeping that conversation going about you know, new methods, how they're being incorporated, developing consistent recording and monitoring processes so that results are comparable and can be, um, and, and can be cross-referenced over time and, and build up that understanding of, of change. We've heard about um, perspectives on change over a whole range of different timescales from millennia through to more, more recent change. And that all provides this important perspective on the challenges that we're facing now and in the near future. I think there's also been um, a, a, an, an emphasis on, on this idea of recording and monitoring and, and not preservation. And, and as we mentioned in the, in the panel discussion, and we, we, can't, we can't preserve everything. The, the costs are very clear and have been outlined multiple times today. So it, it's, it's about recording and, monitor, recording and monitoring um, and dealing with that loss and responding to that loss. But also recording that submerged heritage, bringing the on the offshore onshore, and making sure that we we you know we we are um, we're looking at the whole picture um, across that that uh, sort of coastal coastal zone, and 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 there are opportunities to bring the submerged heritage um, that isn't visible to the public to to uh, a wider audience and to be part of that engagement process. We've heard very strong. Um, you know, um, a message about the importance of locality, um, place, so, you know, individual communities identify with their local heritage and it's very important to them. That then feeds into a broader conversation about the national and international context of, of climate change and the challenges that we face. So there's lots of food for thought here in, in terms of how we can um, continue this conversation and um, develop initiatives and develop a consistent network uh, approach as we as we move in the, in the immediate term towards COP26 where the, the profile of climate change and coastal heritage is, is certainly going to be um, you know on, on the agenda and as we move forward in the, in the coming years um, with, with the challenges of climate change that, that we face. So I think I'll draw that to a close there but just again just like to reiterate my thanks on behalf of everyone on the Cherish project team to everyone who's contributed to a, a really successful, inspiring, um, engaging day. And I hope that we'll continue the conversation um, over the, the, the coming months and years. I'd also like to remind you that all of the talks will be available on Catch Up TV for the next three months, and then we'll be transferring the talks over um, to our web pages so they'll be available in the longer term as well. 
And we very much hope that you'll be able to join us for our um, project wrap up conference, which will be held uh, um, at Dublin Castle on the 7th of September 2022. I'm sure we'll have an online presence as well. And let's hope we, we can um, have, have um, more of an opportunity to, to, to meet up in person um, as the situation improves. And we hope at that conference that we won't just be talking about closing our project and, and the results, but, but looking forward as well and how we take these ideas forward in the future with new collaborations and wider developments and, and, and keeping those links going in the longer term. So just finally, I'd just like to say thank you very much to everyone. And we look forward to um, continuing this conversation um, in the future. Jochen Varian.